Good evening, Sci Fright types. Hello, Sci Frighteners. Hello, my naughty night owls. Welcome to Sci Fright. <laughs> Good evening, and welcome to a very special look at the lives and times of Nina, Seifright's Mistress of Distress. Scariest Satan seaman, I vouchsafe. We've gathered together some of Naughty Nina's finest moments. Stop that hand-waving, you'll take somebody's eye out. We've dug up unseen footage and outtakes. <laughs> and now we're here at Seifright's headquarters, its very nerve center hoping to discover just what it is about Nina that's won her a vast legion of fans, both inside and outside the splattergores genre. Big hairy wolfman would love to meet luscious young lady for nocturnal nuzzlings. Signed in blood to a contract binding her to eternity, Nina has been through some interesting changes over the last few years. Not all of them pretty. This is how we first met Nina. Nina Mark One. Guten Abend, Pumpkins. Nina the Hun. I am Nina Hagen. Nee, nicht so schnell! You know you're gagging for it. Oh, nicht so schnell! I am the host that makes you the parasite feeding on fear. <laughs> we'll play with this later. <laughs> yes, well, like the government, we just weren't ready for a transition to the Euro. And Nina Mark One went quietly, sort of. How bastards! That, unnaturally, paved the way for Nina Mark Two. Hello, pumpkins. This was a less high-maintenance Nina, or so we thought. Does Teddy's head come off? Uh, no. Well, yes, it does. Tormented by multiple substance abuse... Why do they make cheese? ...but a series of unconvincing wigs, this Nina turned out to be a complete nightmare. Where is it in my contract that says I have to do it sober? Although she did have her moments. Clang pair of fooly when I got out work, Lou would it, get it, cherry, but will And the green guy with big eyes in the driver's seat is holding a nasty-looking probe in one slippery testicle. Oh! When I got a glue near carry chair without a drop in, I feel strangely liberated. You should try it. There was only so much sci fried producers could take. It was time for a new selenium of horror. This new Nina would work for scale have rarely loose morals and do just about anything. Just ask her co-stars. Nina! Ah, Nina, yeah. Such a delight to work with, you know. None of that prima donna nonsense. Professional, giving, and so unnecessarily strict. It's my ultimate fantasy. Well, one of my ultimate fantasies anyway. Me, alone in my cellar, with just a traffic warden and a whip. This is my twin sister, Weena, who lives here. In a dungeon. Be thankful I let you out occasionally to clean the upstairs bog, you unappreciative little tramp. Meet Klaus. He lives in the penthouse. He's evidently just back from South America. Say hello to the nice viewers, Klaus. Hi! Um, hello, everyone. And when you finish scrubbing the walls, you can deflee the dog and give the cat an enema. Who's been a naughty traffic warden, then? If I do a really good job, can I sleep under your bed tonight? No. But if you evacuate the cat properly, then maybe I won't set your hair on fire. Oh, you're so stiff for an old man. I'm so lucky to be living with one so generous as you, sister, most lovely Nina. Now bend over. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> now, sci fi viewing types. Oh, all sweetness and light with them now, aren't we? But when you get home, they'll set your heart as big. Enough, Wiener. Now, toys and Germans. Austrians! Are we all sitting comfortably? 
Then let's begin. Action! <laughs> oh, Weena, just don't be such a big baby. I mean, at least you've got your own room. Why do you think that I'm the most exquisitely sculptured beauty ever to have been seen by man, beast, animal or toy? Because of your fabulous boobies. Please. Now, Cyril, that's a lot of ticket on your backside. A real backlog. Looks to me like you're refusing to pay for them. And you know what that means, don't you, Cyril? That means I'm going to have to clamp you. Oh, oh thank God you've come back. I knew you wouldn't leave me here. Thank you. <laughs> so what's really going on here? Is there perhaps some deep-seated reason for Nina's demeanour? We spoke to behavioural psychologist Dr Eve Gardner. Well, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but there's actually a subtle kind of sexuality at play here. I mean, this is clearly projection, isn't it? <laughs> A monster. When I was a child, I just didn't get enough love and emotion. So therefore, the only option I had was to cut my friends up and put them into big bags. There wasn't any meat on them anyway. Kill them. <laughs> kill them, yeah, kill them all. <laughs> oh, let there be rivers of teenage blood. <laughs> Actually, I think it's time for my night bath. Hey, where do you think you're going? Stay where you are. Yes, I may be barking, but I'm not mad. Not mad. Not mad. You believe me, don't you? A classic case of a girl who resented her mother. Only in most cases, the girl doesn't slice mom into little pieces and decorate the house with the strips. <laughs> <sighs> no. Critics have noted that she's elevated the show's intellectual quality, especially in matters of taste. Hello, Dominator's Pizza. Nina here from the Sci-Fi House. Yes. Could you send a pimply youth around with my usual, please? Thank you. Oh, that was quick. So. That's a deep pan, flat crust, tomato and chilli, spicy meat, blood red raw steak special with extra livery bits on a 12 inch base. Mmm, double liver. Oh, where's the cheese? Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Yet, this is a more earthy Nina, who obviously enjoys a few pints of virgin blood. Oh, Damien Thirst, the penniless artist living in the garret. I'm his muse. He often comes to me for advice on his paintings. Damien, have you been eating paint again? Just a little. I was hungry. <sighs> I'm a starving artist. There, there, my sweet. I say, are you sure you're feeling all right? Mm-hmm. You're acting a little strangely. <sighs> I say, I must be getting back to my painting. I say... <sighs> But she clearly has men eating out of her palm. My heart belongs to you, Jason. If you can catch me and cut through my sternum quick enough. <laughs> and I've even baked him a cake. <laughs> oh, shit. I knew I'd put too much baking powder in it. Sometimes, I have to admit, she frightens me. And then, I shit myself. I'm just having my cards read by Mrs. Tingle. Hello, dears. Oh, isn't she sweet? <clears throat> you know, you should get some eucalyptus to clear those sinuses. Now, Mrs. Tingle. Call me Morag and give us a kiss. I wish Vincent Price was here. Ooh, just the three of us together, alone in this beautiful apartment. You... Me and Vince, 
And oh, nothing but a bottle of baby oil to keep us occupied. Place the baby oil on the ground where I can see it and put your hands above your head. Oh, no, no, dear, you're starting to worry me. And I've got a weak heart, you know. <gasps> oh. <gasps> oh, clairvoyant my ass. Didn't predict that, did you? She's a psychopath. And I should know. I've worked with the best. Can you put your plunger in my plug hole and squish it around a bit and see what you can come up with? <laughs> Splendid. <laughs> oh. Oh, look, it's my last lover. I mean, honestly, it's like he's stalking me. You let him know it's over in no uncertain terms, but he just can't seem to get the message. <sighs> now, Norman, we'd better take that tape off before your parents come around. It won't hurt a bit. I never thought my lingerie would come in so handy. I've heard of push-up bras and gel bras, but never strangle little old lesbian lady bras. <laughs> oh, quiet and down, Willie. I'm trying to do a television show. Of course. Nina does have her knockers. I, I mean, detractors. Immediate incarceration would be my first recommendation. I don't bite, do I, Nobby? Then, massive quantities of morphine, aversion therapy, a course of tree hugging, perhaps. You see, she has such a thirst for love. Mm. However, due to negative social conditioning, mm. she tends to express this feeling of inadequacy in ways some people may find distasteful. Mm. Basil. Sorry, Basil. Mmm, mm -mm. minty. <laughs> We're going to take a short break now, but stay tuned for shocks, revelations, oh. and boobs. Oh. In the second thrilling part of I Dream of Nina. <laughs> oh, I hope they show the bit where Nina attached the electrodes to my testicle. Testicles! Testicles are! Ah, I had two! experience. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to Sci Fright. Time for some more TV terror. You look like you need some help with your fuse box. Well, I can safely say I'm at optimum voltage at the moment, Mr. Fixit. <laughs> well, it's always worth a fiddle. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Next time you have an electrical problem, you call me. Don't try and fix it yourself. Now, shall we fix this television? Oh, but Mr. Fixit, Tiddles has eaten through the cables and. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> oh, damn it. They're bound to put my rent up now. <laughs> So, yet another addition to the spiralling body count at 13 Thrillington Place. Not the first time, or the last, that a visit to Nina's has led to an unwanted stiffy. Oi, scary old-timer. What the hell is that? Bats urine. The best way to summon the dead. Uh-uh, you are not throwing that cack all over my lovely new house. It took me weeks to get rid of the smell of granny piss when I moved in here. Have I or have I not got a ghost to show for your summonsing? And if so, where is it? It's not that simple. What do you mean? Before Mephistopheles will open his anus and fart forth the demon herd upon your place of residence, you must first illustrate your undying and reverential love for your soon-to-be demon master. Oh, yeah? And how would I illustrate that? Only in darkness shall the master reveal thy destiny. You dirty old bastard! Ooh. Ooh, rigor mortis didn't take long to set in, did it? I sense a lot of pent-up frustration at global consumerism in Nina. It's as if she wants to strip all that away. Who the hell got this? Bloody sci-fright props department. <sighs> You're pathetic! 
You know, I can't work like this anymore. It's beneath me. I've done adverts, you know. The perfect gift for all occasions. This do-it-yourself seance kit for the bargain price of just $19.95 plus postage and packaging. Yes, Nina, that's right. For just $19.95, this kit could have been yours. <sighs> bloody Cyfrite props department. It's bloody junk. Oh, my God, it's working. <laughs> no, it really is. It's working. Oh, my God. You're moving it. You're moving it. What I think some people miss out on with Nina is her generosity and sense of humour. I've been rubbing away at this old thing for hours and it's still refusing to brighten up. That'll sound fairly familiar to some of our more elderly viewers, I'm sure. And her kindness to the smaller things in life. Spiders. Slugs. Action! Oh, Tiddles. You are really turning me on. That fishy breath of yours just makes me want to rip all my clothes off and smear myself in cod liver oil. If I were you, I'd watch video dramas. I'm sure none of you would like to see me get naked and romp around the bed with these two stuffed animals now, would you? Actually, I think you might. Perhaps her most endearing quality is a wonderful childlike streak. I'm not afraid of the dark. In fact, when I'm all tucked up safe and sound and then I turn on my favourite horror film and turn out the light, I couldn't feel more at home. Just as long as I have my cuddly, wuddly Mr Teddy with me. I'm a bouncy little dinosaur as happy as can be. A friendly little dinosaur, won't you play with me? How much is that doggy in the window? <coughs> the one with the waggly tail. <laughs> How much is that doggy in the window? <coughs> it's certainly obvious that she has a hard time dealing with commitment. <laughs> mm, how is it for you, sir? Oh, good, sir. You do make me blush. Now, where were we? <sighs> oh, go on, then. But first, let me get some protection. I'm all yours. Oh. Shit, why does this always happen to me? I'd never seen one like that before. And I was only seven. It was such a queer shape. Are you listening to me? Why do I share with you the most intimate details? You never tell me anything. There is no denying it. She's sick. So, did you travel far this evening to get here at all? The producers are clearly sick. I want to father your children. You are sick for watching this. I really wish you wouldn't do that. Hell, I must be sick for taking part. There, that's better, isn't it, Mr. Teddy? Now we can sleep in peace. Nina is indeed in the great tradition of British sci-fi. Absolute bilge on zero budget. Release your robot. What's that? This is what I call the Mark VI combat cabbage. You're pulling my piss up. No, I know what you're thinking. It does look a bit like my Mark V, but I can assure you this was straight out of me dad's allotment this morning. Off. Well, don't you want to see it in action? What, that? Ah, oh, it's a mean mother. But just piss off, you're wasting my time. Oh, I knew I should have bought a Mark V. Dad's going to go mad when he sees what I've done to his prize money bed. Well, then, we'd better put it somewhere. He won't freaking find it. Honoured by her peers in the underworld and her special guests, or at least those who managed to survive being on the show, Nina is an inspiration to fully-fledged lunatics and psychotics everywhere. You've got lovely legs. <laughs> she ripped off my testicle. Don't I only had two? So there you have it. All that remains now is for us to sit back and enjoy some of those moments when things didn't go quite according to plan. 
Forget Auntie's bloomers. Feast your eyes on Nina's boobs. You know, this apartment block contains some of the blood. Can I do it again? You know, this apartment block contains some... It's an Axel Rose gag, you know? Oh, take me down to the paradise city. <laughs> 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 it must be the excitement of the near death by strangulation experience. <laughs> My hair is coming off. You have to pull your lederhosen up and look to the future, for heaven's sake. The Führer! Get the Führer! Stop! <laughs> you try making an impact on a heartless, cynical world, overrun by corporate businessmen intent on... I'm sorry, but I've got a bit of toilet water in my mouth. It just slipped out. Oliver Reed, cute and young. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's my ultimate fantasy. Well, one of my ultimate fantasies, anyhow. Oh, gosh. Oh, shit. It's creepy or crawly, old dad. Have you gone out of focus? It's not me. Covering myself in these old satin sheets, which slowly <sighs> ran out of breath. I never thought my lingerie would come in the book. Can you do it again, please? Why do you think that I'm the most exquisitely sculptured beauty ever to have seen? Oh, God. Well, that was fun. A bit expensive on the suntan lotion to pregnant. Yeah. Well, if you're way too tired, oh, bollocks. Then there's the mini bar, of course, and the cute little soaps and shit. Now you much... This week on sci Right, I've been rubbing the... Th uh, what have I been doing? Oh, I can feel the... Th what can I feel? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, uh... Oh, just remember your life. You're so tense, Mina. That's Mina. Whatever. But... Cut! Oh, Rachel, my <laughs> fucking hell. Look, I just wish you'd fuck off! It's time for Harvey and I to buck off. <laughs> Help me put my bra back on. Out of this world, huh? <laughs> oh, Nina. Nina. Love me, Nina. <clears throat> what? <laughs>